The Association Française pour l'Information Scientifique or AFIS English, French Association for Scientific Information is an association regulated by the French law of 1901, founded under the leadership of Michel Rouzet in November 1968. As a skeptical organization, it has been a member of the European Council of Skeptical Organizations since 2001, and publishes the magazine Science et Pseudosciences. Science and Pseudosciences. Topic: <laughs> Purpose. Statement of Principles. The AFIS strives to promote science against those who deny its cultural value, abuse it for criminal purposes or as a cover for quackery." According to the AFIS, science itself cannot solve humanity's problems, nor can one solve them without using the scientific method. Citizens should be informed about scientific and technical advancements and the problems it helps to solve, in a way that is accessible to everyone, regardless of the pressure from particular interests. They should be warned against false sciences and against those who propagate them in the media for personal or financial gain. Via its magazine, Science et Pseudosciences, the association states it wants, to collect a number facts from current affairs in science and technology to consider them from a human perspective first to distribute scientific information about all disciplines of research via the news, in a language that everyone can understand to unconditionally denounce peddlers of false science or pseudoscience astrology, flying sources, sects, the paranormal fake medicine, malevolent charlatans and suppliers of irrationality to defend scientific thinking against the threat of a new obscurantism, independent of all pressure groups, it rejects any concession to sensationalism, disinformation and complacency regarding the irrational. <laughs> Publication. The AFIS publishes a quarterly magazine Science et Pseudo-Sciences, Science and Pseudo-Sciences. According to the association, the magazine had 1,400 to 1,500 subscribers and a readership of 1,400 to 2,800 per issue in 2010. In 2010, the sale of the magazine delivered a revenue of €82,232 for production costs and €60,125 for postage costs. Engineer and physicist Sebastian Point is a member of AFIS and of the magazine. He has also written for the English magazine Skeptical Inquirer about free energy and chromotherapy, and about wrong beliefs surrounding electromagnetic radiations. Controversies Astrology When Elizabeth Tacia's dissertation situation épistémologique de l'astrologie à travers l'ambivalence fascination, rejette dans les sociétés postmodernes, epistemological situation of astrology across the ambivalence of fascination, rejection in postmodern societies, was accepted at the Paris Descartes University in April 2001, it caused an uproar within the scientific community. The AFIS took the initiative to critically analyze Tacia's thesis. It turned out to be a plea for astrology, presented as a sociological study, and did not comply with any academic standards for a dissertation. 
The analysis was conducted by a group of astrophysicists and astronomers Jean-Claude Pecker, Jean Ordoux and Denis Savoir, sociologists Bernard Lahiré and Philippe Sibois, a philosopher Jacques Bouveres and specialists of pseudosciences Henry Brock and Jean-Paul Crivine. Tasia rejected the criticism of the contents of her sociological dissertation, and branded the AFIS as the Taliban of culture. GMOs In 2007, AFIS started a petition against the moratorium of genetically modified maize in France. It published numerous articles on GMOs. It also lobbied in the Senate during the discussion of the law on GMOs in 2008. In March 2008, this position of the association led a member of AFIS Scientific Council, Marcel Francis Kahn, emeritus professor in medicine at Paris Diderot University, to resign on the grounds that the AFIS, without having consulted our opinion, made a 180 degrees turn to a genuine pro-GMO lobby." He also alleged a connection between two members, Marcel Kuntz and Louis-Marie Houdebine, and, "...Monsanto or its affiliates." However, Kahn was unable to produce, "...real evidence," to back up these accusations. Meanwhile, the AFIS maintains its total independence from any industrial group. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Global warming. After the publication of the report on global warming, including giving a voice to climate skeptics such as Vincent Cortio and Benoit Ritto, the association received criticism from climatologists and the Union Rationalista. Sylvester Oué, science journalist at Liberation, expressed his disappointment with the mediocre coverage of the topic in a critique of the association. Board and transparency Presidents Michel Rouzet Jean-Claude Pecker Jean Brickmont, two thousand and one to two thousand and six Mitchell NAUD, two thousand and six to twenty eleven Louis Marie Houdabine, twenty eleven to twenty fourteen Anne Perrin, since twenty fourteen. Topic Scientific Council and Sponsoring Commission Jean-Pierre Adam, archaeologist, CNRS, Paris. Jacques Bouveres, philosopher, professor at the Collège de France, chair of philosophy of language and cognition. Jean Bricmont, professor of theoretical physics, University of Louvain-le-Neuve, Belgium. Henry Brock, professor of physics and zetetics, University of Nice, Sophia Antipolis. Gerald Bronner, Professor of Sociology, University of Strasbourg. Henry Brugere, Veterinary Doctor, Professor de Therapeutic Physiology at the National Veterinary School of Alfit. Yvette Dati, Honorary Research Director of the INRA, member of the Académie d'Agriculture de France. Jean-Paul Delahaye, professor at Lille University of Science and Technology, researcher at Laboratoire d'Informatique Fondamentale de Lille. Marc Fellis, professor of medicine, Institut Cochi de Génétique Moléculaire. Leon Guégan, dietitian, honorary research director of the INRA, member of the Académie d'Agriculture de France. 
Louis-Marie Houdebine, biologist and research director at the center of the INRA at JOUYN Joses. Bertrand Jordan, molecular biologist, emeritus research director at CNRS, Marseille. Jean-Pierre Cahane, professor of mathematics, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Jean de Curvestway, professor at the Conservatoire National des Arts et Métiers, CNAM, member of the French Academy of Technologies. Marcel Kuntz, biologist, research director at the CNRS. Gilbert Legru, honorary professor at the Hôpital Albert Chenevier at Créteil. Hélène Langevin Jolio, nuclear physicist, emeritus research director at the CNRS. Guillaume Lecointe, professor at the National Museum of Natural History, Paris. Jean-Marie Lane, professor at the Collège de France, member of the French Academy of Sciences, Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Gérard Pascal, dietitian and toxicologist, honorary research director of the INRA, member of the Académie d'Agriculture and the French Academy of Technologies. Jean-Claude Pecker, honorary professor of theoretical astrophysics at the Collège de France, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Arkan Siman, professor agrégé of physics, historian of the sciences. Alan Sakal, professor of physics at New York University and professor of mathematics at the University College London. Jacques Van Rillera, professor de psychology, Belgique. Topic: <laughs> Editorial staff, science, et pseudo sciences, and website. Jean-Paul Crivine, editor in chief. Bruno Shetakovich, webmaster. Topic: Transparency. In 2008, after the work of the Prometheus Foundation on the Transparency Barometer of NGOs, the AFIS wanted to participate in a process of transparency by publicizing the composition of the Board Council, the Finances and Activities Reports. The accounts of the association have not been published since 2011 and the minutes of its activities have not been published since 2012. 